Hello, hello, hello. Hey, listen, listen. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Listen Talk Show. Yes, we hope that you uh, are in a place where you can uh, check us out, hopefully undisturbed. But if you're in the midst of cooking dinner because you're on Texas time, then just put us in your ears and we can keep it moving. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to uh, take your questions and your comments and your Facebook Live. We're going to have a segment at the end of the show where we're going to answer some of your questions uh, and we'll speak to some of your comments if they are appropriate. Uh, if not, we'll re reply to you offline. But Tania will give you our uh, social media info and how to follow us and stay connected with us. Yeah. So right now we are on Facebook. And all you have to do is search for Listen Talk Show and uh, make sure that you like us, make sure that you follow us, make sure that you turn your notifications on um, so that this way you'll know the moment we go live or the moment we drop a video, um, you won't miss a beat. Uh, feel free to share it with others. Um, we're all about, we are all about community, Win and I, all about community. So. Feel free to share it with families, frenemies, whoever you know needs to hear, <laughs> whoever you know needs to hear it, share away. Absolutely. So Tania, let's do an introduction because people don't know who we are and just let them know really a little bit about Tania Wynn. What are we about? Ah, simply put, we about God. We about God. We're about enjoying life to the fullest. Um, we're about doing our best to find humor in everything. I, I don't know. I don't know how many times we have spent talking about God and at the same time laughing and crying at the same time. Uh, born and raised in church, like I tell some people, you know, birthed on a pew. That is us, right? <laughs> birthed on that pew. But at the same time, um, real, real, beautifully raw, uh, and as transparent as God allows us to be. What say you, Win? Absolutely. Uh, well, for those that don't know me, my, I'm Win Briscoe, and um, I I can just say ditto to everything she just said. Um, but for sure, very real. We're transparent and. Um, for myself, I'm an entrepreneur of over 30 years and all things lover of business. And um, just to uh, give you a little perspective, I started at the age of seven. So <laughs> it gives you some backstory how long I've been uh, an entrepreneur. And as she said, um, just uh, we were worshipers, right? Um, we love food and fashion. And, um, and so for me, uh, fitness and learning how to maneuver and navigate um, my new life. And so it's just been uh, a really great journey um, over these last few years. So we're going to share a little bit about ourselves in a deeper dive as the weeks are to come. But just to give you a little highlight um, of who we are and what we are about. And if Tania didn't mention, we are cousin sisters <laughs> uh, so that uh, you'll yeah. have a little perspective of what that is. Our dads are identical twins. And because they are identical twins, technically they are the same person. So uh, we are we are sisters, but we are first cousins. Uh, so you'll you'll hear the reference cousin sisters quite often. So you'll understand where that comes from. Yes. And so for the record, to be formal, my name is Tania Briscoe Easterling, um, and I give a shout out to the East Coast as well as to Texas because I'm from the East Coast, love the East Coast, and will always be loyal to the East Coast, but currently reside for the last 13 years in the beautiful city of Austin, Texas. Um, and so, yeah, I look forward to um, everybody getting to know us um, over the coming weeks. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> so, as we transition from our introduce us, is there anything else you want to elaborate on in that? Did we cover 
I think I think the introduce us is going to come in time. They're going to have layers to us. Yeah, truly, truly. Um, because there's people that have been blessed to know us from a personal level. Then there's right. a business. Um, then, of course, there's ministry. Right. So um, few people have had the pleasure of knowing all the facets. That's of true. Us. That's true. Um, so this is a beautiful opportunity for us to just uh, allow everybody to actually get to know all the sides, um, all the sides. Yeah, we're we're very much. If you can imagine a bowl of gumbo, that is us, <laughs> right? Like it just depends on, you know, someday you may get corn, someday you may get sausage. It just depends. Um, honestly, it's we are pretty eclectic as people. Um, but at the core, as Tania said, God is at our core. But any given moment, uh, we're cutting up. Any given moment, we are the most sarcastic. If you can imagine, uh, we are the most sarcastic. We will crack a joke. You may, not, you, may even, you may not even know that you're in the joke. Um, and so um, that's, <laughs> that's how we are. We love, we, we are so uh, eclectic and, uh, and really unique as people. And it's just amazing that us as first cousins, sisters, right, that that God created us this way, that we have so many similarities, uh, but yet there are some uniquenesses that we do appreciate about each other. And, um, and so that's, what's, that was, that's what keeps our bond as well. Yeah, yeah. And like the Bible says, cause yeah, we talk about the Bible on this show, laughter does good like medicine. And so maybe that's why we're both super healthy yes. <laughs> because we laugh, <laughs> we laugh a lot. Right. Um, and we laugh at each other, you know, and we laugh at the people that we love. You know, we will always find something to laugh and smile about. So we look forward to everybody joining us and you laughing right along with us at life. Because life is beautiful and funny. And there's always something you can find positive. I mean, no matter what your circumstance that you're going through, there is you know, nothing is wasted. We will hear that quite often on here. Um, and that everything, there's always something that you can find a silver lining to. So in that transition, ah, this is our, <laughs> our God moments, right? Our why. So Tania is going to speak to why we have chosen to do a talk show. What has led us to this point? <laughs> Y'all see, she already throwing me under the bus, making me go first. I'm very like, you know, much, this like, is know. very much your area uh, because you don't want me to speak to this segment. <laughs> you no, you don't. Have a choice. You won't have a choice in a moment. Oh gosh, my why. My why is simply because God told me to, right? I, I, I love God. I love how he talks to me. He talks to me like Medea, like a black mama, like a thug. It's just it's just like, I'm not going to tell you to do it again. I didn't told you. What did I tell you the first time? I told mm -hmm. you. This is what I want you to do. And so everything in my life is simply because God told me to do it. He told Wynn and I to create this talk show. He told me to write books. He has told me to do so many things in my life now. And I have done my best to try to stop questioning. Still a little work in progress on that questioning piece. Um, but he has stressed to me the importance in this season of being obedient immediately. Doesn't matter if it makes sense. It doesn't need to make sense to me only needs to make sense to God, right? So the obedience piece in this season um, is everything and has been everything, you know? And I'm thankful to say my obedience is almost at 100, y'all, almost. I, whew, there's some things, some things I'm still a little slow on because it's a stretch, it's a stretch out my comfort zone um, like this being live. <laughs> it's a stretch out of my comfort zone. Um, but yeah, that is, that's my why. I, I don't even, it's cause he told me to in, in, in his, in his godly thug voice. He's like, I told you to do it. So go do it. <laughs> and I'll give you everything you need as you go along. Just, just right now, 
just go do it. Just start. That's it. Yeah. What ditto. about you, Win? Oh, yeah. What's no, your we're just, why? <laughs> oh, we're just gonna say ditto to that. Um, <clears throat> I would say it's absolutely the same. Those downloads that come in that God gives us uh, full instructions on what to do. Um, I can agree with Tania. It had been a struggle. There are significant moments in my life where I blatantly uh, heard instruction and disregarded. It was just I just wanted to do my own thing. And so I think we're at this season now where we try our best to listen, as she said, and to listen with immediate action as a response versus procrastination, um, where, where I know that was an area where I used to just live where it was, I'll get to it, right? But it's not going to be something with an immediate action. But now, um, definitely. And so I know that um, all of the wisdom, the insight, um, our opinions even, um, that that we may have are here to help others. Our experiences, as we said, nothing is wasted. We've gone through uh, some significant journeys thus far in our lives. And um, to know that, we are on this earth to help others um, and to share our experiences with them on their journeys. That's what this show is about, is, is if, we could, if we can help one person to just take our experience and to know that it's going to be uh, beneficial, helpful, um, and uh, useful to at least encourage and inspire someone else, then you know, definitely our experiences were worth it. So um, our why is, is because God told us so, number one. And then number two um, is because I think we were at the point where we do identify um, that it is helpful to other people. And we've gotten that feedback from other people that thank you for doing this um, because it has helped them. And so that is uh, a, a long-winded answer of ditto. <laughs> well, it's, um, you know, that obedience piece is so important, right? Bible talks about obedience is better than sacrifice. So I've sacrificed enough um, in my life on that, on that hesitant or outright, I'm not going to be obedient um, to know the repercussions of that are never, ever worth it. Um, and Romans 519 tells us that, you know, one person obedient, you know, blesses so many. So we hope and we pray that out of the obedience of this, <laughs> this talk show, uh, that it'll bless people. So we'd love to hear your feedback. If you want to post it in the comments, let us know what does obedience look like to you in this season, mm. right? What it, what it, there's some things God's talking to all of us as long as we live and breathe and he's still talking. Oh, yeah. so, so what does obedience look like to you right now? We'd love to hear it. So share away. Wow. Wow. My goodness. Yeah. My goodness. So Tania has some great hard copies of some books that one we have gone through as a book study uh, previously and one we are currently in. And so um, I'm going to say of these two books right now, one is more of my favorite than the other. <laughs> Because one I like to read and one I'm living, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, so mm -hmm. When Women Pray, uh, Nia has a copy of that. If you have not read this book, if you oh are a woman, okay, if you're a man, doesn't matter. This book is phenomenal. It's, T. Jake, it's Bishop T.D. Jakes' most recent book. Um, please get this book. Please uh, go on to his YouTube and look at the videos. It's 10 women in the Bible um, and that he has selected about their stories around when they pray and what has happened in their journeys, all unique, uh, but what happened when they prayed. And the YouTube uh, videos on his channel of each speaker that expounds the chapter is yeah. phenomenal. Um, it's phenomenal. So I encourage you, if you have not read When Women Pray, that book is amazing. And um, it's definitely going to 
give you some insights, Tania. I think we both read it from perspectives that we hadn't even considered before. I was like, is he reading the same Bible that we're reading? Because some of these insights uh, were like left field, really, right? I was like, yeah. how in the world did you get this? You know, how did you gather this from the same scriptures we've been reading our whole lives? Um, amazing, amazing right. content. Like um, to break to break down Rhoda. Yeah, we were we were both like, wait, who's, who's Rhoda? Rhoda? Exactly. <laughs> We and to take and to take Rhoda is listed. I mean, her story lasts all of what literally her part of this of the miracle lasts all of about mm -hmm. what y'all a verse, two verses, and we're holding it say, up like it's maybe two, verse, lines, two verses in there, that, right? Yeah. Um, but for Bishop Jakes to break that down the way he did, it yeah, definite read, definite must read. Definite must Absolutely. I love how he took people who we may consider to be insignificant um, and he made their stories so much more relevant. He gave power and voice, just like you said to Rhoda, who had probably two verses. Um, and we glazed over that name. I don't think any of us recognized that name when we saw it. Um, but yeah, amazing book. Amazing. So there's, there's my read suggestion for you. Um, we both love to read books. So we're going to have various books on from time to time. So um, that's going to be my read suggestion for you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely beneficial to read it along with someone else. Um, if, if you and another woman, um, and I, I truly believe men would be blessed by this book too. I don't, I don't, I think yeah. I know, I know he wrote about 10 women, praying women in the Bible, but I honestly believe even men would be blessed um, by this book. So um, I know as I'm, um, I'm married to the awesome James Easterling. So we tend to read books together. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a great couples read. If you're looking for um, some arsenal to strengthen your prayer life, um, or if you have a life group, small group, um, just a circle of friends, um, you got your tribe, this one, put it on your list for 2021. Okay. Great. Read. It's a great, and use it as a Bible study if you choose to, or a book study, read it together. Yeah. So the second book, <laughs> we are currently reading this book along Nothing. with several other amazing women. And by the way, it's not too late to join us. So yes. you can go to um, either one of our Facebook pages and we'll probably, actually we can post the link. We'll post the link when the show yes. is over mm -hmm. on uh, Listen Talk Show. We'll post the link uh, for our current book study because it's not too late to join us. The book we are currently reading is the amazing Redeeming Love by Francine wow. Rivers. Can y'all see that? This book, Chain Breaking, is best describes this book. Um, let me move my hands completely out the way so everybody can see the author and the title. So what it is, is a fictional depiction of the book of Hosea. So um, for anybody that doesn't know the Bible, uh, God told the prophet Hosea to go and marry a prostitute. <laughs> so that he would understand the depth of God's love for him and his people. Mm -hmm. And so this book in 30 some chapters, yes, I said 30 plus chapters. Right. It is the fictional depiction of that. And um, this is my third time reading this book, but every time I read it, God gives deeper revelation to me about how much he loves me, about how much his grace, <laughs> his mercy floods my life when I am difficult and when I'm disobedient or just not wanting to hear what God has to say. Um, and so uh, I would encourage anybody to read this book if you haven't already. Um, the first time I read through it, I cried. Now I don't cry as much anymore um, because God's given me deeper revelation on it. But the first time 
oh my goodness, I just cried like a baby. I weeped and sobbed. Um, but I did that because God was showing me uh, that the man he gave to me, my husband, is my Hosea and how much he loves me. Um, and it's through God's love that he's able to love me the way that he does. So um, if you know anybody that is struggling with accepting God's love for them, um, if they're struggling with rejection, right, when yeah, um, the yeah. list goes on and on, right? Un unworth self un oh my yeah. gosh, unworthiness, the self-worth, the self-esteem, mm -hmm. um, even struggling with, I would say, overcoming their past. Right. Whatever Very their much. past may have been, yeah. right? And they're struggling to just even overcome their past. This right here. <laughs> Book is phenomenal. It, it's phenomenal. Um, and I, I will tell you, it was reading it was an emotional roller coaster. Um, it's something that you're not going to want to put down, um, unlike any other book, right? That you're going to be reading um, from chapter to chapter. This book, you may just marathon in a weekend um, and definitely go through. I, I have heard from folks in our group that have it on Audible that they absolutely uh, just continue to just listen from chapter to chapter. So um, so you may not wanna put it down. That is just gonna be your disclaimer that we're giving you right now because it is uh, a phenomenal story and um, I'm, I'm learning to embrace it. Um, Tania has gone through it three times. This is my first time reading the book uh, and with the circumstances that you're reading it, it's just like, oh my gosh, like really God? Like really God. So um, how timely. And how impactful um, is this story? And um, it's amazing. So if you haven't read it, if or if you want to get it on Audible, um, do so. Highly recommend, you know, for sure. Yeah. And it, I believe Tania does have a devotion with it. It does. Uh, the author created both a devotional and um, I think like an actual study to go along as well. So you have several options with this amazing book. And um, just so you know, it's being made into a movie, you guys. Mm. Oh my gosh. Looking yeah. forward to that. It won't it won't get any more powerful than that. I hope I hope they do the book justice because some movies don't, but I'm hoping they stay true to um the beauty of this book. Cause yeah, there'll be a lot of people coming out of there just totally, just totally done. Totally done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um in our current study, us going through this book, <laughs> we're doing about three chapters at a time. So like I said, we're not far along at all. We just started a few weeks ago. So we'll post the link and feel free to join us. Um, and we'd love to have you. It's amazing, it's amazing. So those are our two current favorite reads um, other than the books that we have written. So. Yeah, it's going to give a little insight on the books that we have written, hopefully are also our favorite reads because we have lived these books and they'll be out when God permits them to be out. But give some insight to me on what you're doing and the projects that God has on you. <laughs> I love that you keep making me go first. Yeah. <laughs> so um, in this season, so... Um, my hubby and I were blessed to do an Abraham and Sarah move to Texas about 13 years ago, a little over 13 years ago now. And it was out of that, um, that journey that God told me, okay, you're going to write about this because there's somebody out there that needs to hear and know of my goodness and the blessings that come out of obedience, right? The protection Right, all of that that just come out of faith and obedience. And so I wrote a book, um, and it will soon be available. The book is called Faith That Goes the Distance A Journey of Walking on Water with God. Um, and that's because, seriously, y'all, like Peter, we have gotten out of the boat, we got out of the boat 13 years ago, and have never looked back. Not once have we moved back to the East Coast or tried to even return. And God made sure we couldn't return anyway. But um, it's called Faith That Goes the Distance. So 
It will be out this year. Um, I am excited um, for the record, was not always excited. Uh, but now I can embrace the excitement. Was not excited to write the book. Um, but once again, that obedience, that obedience piece, right? Um, and so God told me I had to finish it before the end of, what was that, 20? Because it's been before the end of 20, mm -hmm. 2019, right? Yes, before yes. December 2019. Mm -hmm. I had to finish that book, guys. God told me, he gave me an actual date. Like he gave me a deadline. I told you God is a holy thug with me. He said, December 31st, 2019, you need to have this book finished just as in finished being written. And so I did um, by the grace of God with the love and support of when and God blessing me with a divine um, accountability partner named Susan C. And if you're watching Susan, you know I love you, girl. Mm -hmm. But God used her to hold me in accountability to get that thing finished. And so um, I can finally say I'm excited <laughs> to be coming out with that book um, very, very soon. Um, and we'll be sure, of course, the moment our books are available, we'll post the links on this page. Um, and so that's the book. And then uh, God has blessed me to start writing devotionals. So I've already written one um, and it actually won a devotional writing contest a couple months ago, which was all God. I <laughs> was not expecting that. Super proud um, of you. Super thank proud. you. Thank you. Boo. Um, and so God has now tasked me with, okay, well, you won the one. That's great. But guess what? You're going to keep writing them. So... <laughs> So um, those will be found on my website um, and I'll post the link once the next one comes up. Um, but he's blessed me to start writing devotionals about faith. So um, everything seems to be centered around a lot of faith, a lot of trust and a lot of obedience. And maybe that's just because those are the things that over the years have been some of the biggest um the biggest steps, steps that I've had to take in my life. And so um, I've also been doing daily faith posts on social media, primarily on Facebook and Instagram, not because I want to y'all once again, but strictly because he told me to, um, because I'm actually not, not huge on social media. I really don't spend a lot of time on social media. So God saying, hey, so now I want you to start creating some posts to encourage people in their faith. And you're going to post a good five to six days a week. Um, so I've been doing that. And hopefully some of you um, are being blessed. Um, hopefully everybody is being blessed by the posts that he's been having me make. Um, and then, of course, there's the book study that we're doing um, that we just talked about a little bit ago. And then my hubby and I are blessed to be premarital course teachers. So um, we will be 17 years married this month for us to get through that. Um, so we are blessed to now be able to pour and sow into um, God's next generation of married warriors. And so um, we enjoy that thoroughly. I enjoy it so much. Um, we've mentored married couples. We've been on the opposite side of the coin um, and both are amazing, but this has been the most fun thus far. Um, and then of course, there's this talk show. <laughs> this talk show that uh, we don't know what God is doing. We just know that he's up to something. And so yes, here we yes. are. And here I am on this talk show as the as if I needed anything else on my plate. Um, but the beauty of it is everything on my plate is being held. It's being all held by God. He's holding it. It's not up to me. All I have to do is put on some cute lipstick and put my earbuds in and show up. And he's going to take care of the rest. So um, that's with everything. And that's that's where God's been having me. 
over the past at least year. So what about you, Lynn? Where well, does God have you? Yeah, right? So um, my book, Release, um, so it is, as Tania said, we both were instructed to write books, um, not that we wanted to. So I'm glad that you prefaced that because I truly did not. Um, my book is called Release, and it's a divinely directed memoir that reflects on the last 20 years of my journey with God, with his love, grace, promises, and faithfulness. And I will add forgiveness on top of that um, in all areas of my life. And so Release has been an amazing book, um, but it also, in writing the book, I obtained release, which was great um, and continued to. So it's been a, a journey with writing the book, um, reading it over. Uh, and then there's been times when I've had to share it. You know, it's been perfect where uh, even though it's not even out yet for um, purchase, where I'm referencing it quite often. Uh, so it's funny how we went from something that we didn't want to write um, right. to now is something that we share, um, whether it's in social media or in conversation with those that God instructs us to share our books with, um, we do it. So that book will be coming out soon. And um, I love that uh, we are doing the show together. Um, again, um, it's just been an amazing journey just to get to this process because we were supposed to do it. I think months ago, and we finally yeah. worked our way into March, <laughs> launching it in March. Uh, it has been months, right? So, yeah. um, but everything, you know, as they say, it's never late, it's always divine, right? It's never delayed, it's always divine. And so that's how we are living True. our journey right now. So um, I've definitely been uh, working on cozy, create, cozy conversations. That was something that was supposed to come out last March for Women History Month. 2020 and the pandemic happened. Mm. And so having to just pivot that and make that monthly and keeping it uh, virtual now has been a new experience because we wanted, you know, a close intimate environment yeah. um, at a bed and breakfast where women could come in their pajamas and we could have light fare and just be able to have conversations um, that women could have in an intimate environment and share and dialogue and really just uplift each other with uh, women's specific topics, but uh, now we're virtual. So look us up online, it's Cozy Conversations. And again, like Tania said, we're gonna put all the links to the things we're working on in the chat. Uh, so you'll have that on the page uh, along with this video. And um, and Testimony Tuesdays will launch, its first launch is tonight. Um, and so I'm super excited. That's something God gave me in February. And Tania and I and a couple of the friends, we've been doing this every Tuesday night uh, where we would just daisy chain call each other uh, like a party line and um, where we would be on it and is. just share our testimony. God had laid that on my heart um, in February, how we have gone into a virtual environment. And because we were raised in church, that was kind of a part of the old school. Um, I, I don't want to say the way service was right. You started out a lot of times with some of the Bible studies or some of the other services with just a real 30 minute or 20 minute abbreviated um, testimony time where people could just share what God was doing in their lives. And yeah. because we're virtual and you don't really have that with having a virtual church service, right? If you're watching it on YouTube or Facebook live, or maybe your church's website or on replay even. So you don't really get to have that encouragement um, to really hear that God is still doing great impactful things in the earth. So Testimony Tuesdays is going to be every Tuesday, and it's going to be following uh, the show. It's going to be from 8.30 to 9.30, um, and that's going to be um, on Testimony Tuesdays page, so you can follow us there. I'll put the information again, uh, the link uh, with this video, and um, share and enjoy. So those are just a few things that God has uh, in instructed that we take on in this season, among all the other things that we're doing, and all the other, for me, businesses that I'm running. Um, so um, those are just some of the ministries and the books that we're, we're on right now. Yeah. And I love how with the cozy conversations, I feel like it was a divine pause from God because yes. oh, yeah. he was like, you're thinking too small. You're thinking 
just the women right. locally exactly. to you, right? That can come that's and true. be at a bed and breakfast, but like, I can't come and be at your bed it's, and breakfast. And it's so amazing you know? because the first con cozy conversations that we had, um, which was this month, this Friday past, we had people on from out of state. And I just thought, how funny is this, right? Um, yes. So sometimes what we may think uh, is a delay, right? Like I said, sometimes we have to stop, pause, and acknowledge that it's not a delay, it's divine, and how allow for God to do it his way versus the way we want to control our way. Yeah, real talk on that, real talk. So excited about Testimony Tuesday. You're right, it's something, <laughs> something we've already been doing. Yeah. We're, just, we're just now allowing everybody else to join That's in. True. That like, is very okay. true. Um, let's just really turn this into a thing. So yeah, um, feel free to join when we'll post the link um, as soon as the show is over. And, um, you know, the word says we overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So God has been good to you. He's been good to us Absolutely. in the midst of a pandemic, right? Because we're all still pandemicking. Um <laughs> That's not yes, word. that's a word. That is a word. Oh, that is a win into Neo word, pandemic. It's true. It's true. Uh, so, so yeah. So we all have plenty to give God thanks for. So um, I hope you'll join us for that for sure. Um, so. And we're going to make it easy. If you don't have Zoom, that's fine. I'm going to post the telephone number and the call-in mm -hmm. information. Um, so all you have to do is just Literally, if you have a smartphone, you're just going to click it and it's just going to dial it from your smartphone. So no worries. Making it easy for you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So um, we so we have a fun segment of our show that we'll be doing every week. This segment is called I Got Questions. And I'm sorry for all you teachers out there that you're like, that's not proper grammar. Okay. <laughs> For all the proper people, I have questions, but we say, I got questions. Correct. <laughs> Correct. So we thought it'd be really interesting and fun to just have a very real conversation about what would some of the modern day responses be to biblical situations, right? So, when? Mm -hmm. Noah. Mm -hmm. Noah. Mm. God told Noah to build a boat. Did they Funny. even have boats before he told Noah to build a boat? That's a very good question. I don't. I don't even know. I, I love this segment with the I got questions <laughs> because. Honestly, if I was living in any of these days, I mean, I have I got questions to my own scenarios um, in, two, in 2020. So I can only imagine for some of the folks that we're going to name um, the humanistic response of God telling you to build a a a ship. Basically, it was really right. a, a cargo a ship, cruise ship, a cruise ship for animals and people, whatever you want to consider it to be. Um, but when there have been no rain, right? So you're telling him to build this because it's going to rain. Well, what is rain? First of all, I think that would probably be right. the first question. Right. 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 Um, and then when everyone is coming up and asking him, well, what are you doing? Right. What are you building? Uh, well, I'm building a boat, an ark. Right. Well, what's an ark? OK, first of all, uh, who told you to build this ark? Um, for You know, th there be a litany of questions. Uh, uh, not right. as if any of those questions mattered, because, again, when God gives you instructions, people's questions don't matter. But that's not Say the that. segment. Yeah, that's not the segment. <laughs> this segment is this <laughs> I got questions. And uh, how do you respond? How would Noah respond? How did Noah's wife? I always talk about the significant other because I'm always because see, God speaks to to the individual a lot of times. He doesn't always speak to both if they're in a significant other relationship didn't always speak to both at the same time. So usually it's one person or the other. And then he has to go back and reassure the other person that, hey, that person's not crazy. They did hear from me. And you do need to follow that instruction as well. That typically is how. Right. We, so yeah. um, 
Yeah, absolutely. So this is, I got questions. You're building a boat on dry land, Tania. Um, what is rain? Um, I don't know. How does he look? Does he look crazy? I mean, at his age, yes. One, one would, one would probably have questioned his I mean, mental sanity. I'm just saying at that point of, okay, God told you to build a ship equivalent to the Titanic and to put animals on it. Like, okay, but where, where are you going once you build the boat? Cause he didn't, he didn't even have a destination. Right. No, he, he had no details. He had no details. Just build it. No. Right. Correct. That was so, the instruction. You know, telling his wife, Hey, God's telling me to come out, come off the field and I need to focus on mm -hmm. this thing. Cause it's going to do this thing that is never done before called rain. The right. rain is actually going to come out of the sky instead of up from the ground. From the instead of misting, like it had always done. Right. Correct. Exactly. Right. So right. yeah, totally so, different perspective. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I have tried to wrap my brain around what, what that would have looked like or right. even sounded like. What did, his, what, what did his wife say, knowing that he was a heavy drinker, right? Maybe this is just something, I don't know. I think you're going through a stage or phase in life. Honey, are you sure you heard this? I don't know. What, what, what I would love to know what her thoughts were. I don't know. She probably thought, have you been in the wine? Where have you, where have you been? Have you been in the wine? Because what yep. is what is going on? Possibly. I don't know. God, <laughs> God told you to do what? And Correct. With, and with what? Correct. Right? Correct. Uh, <laughs> and I go find these animals as well. You know, go wrangle up well, some animals. And they all just started coming. God just brought them. Mm -hmm. So can you mm -hmm. fathom them? I mean, you turn around and there's two tigers, one male, one female standing behind you. You look crazy. Like, it, it's no different than what is it, Bruce Almighty? Right? It's no right. difference, right? You look crazy. right. So yeah. yeah. So there's but, that. So so. But isn't that experience? everything? Isn't that everything God tells us to do? You always look crazy, and as they always say, it's crazy till it happens. So right. there's that. Um, right. So the folks that didn't make it in the flood, maybe maybe next time. I don't know. <laughs> Might want to listen. Uh, did you just say maybe next time? <laughs> Not sure. It's a wrap, though. I'm pretty sure there was no next time. For <laughs> that was it. That was it. I, I'd I'd rather be crazy in the crazy crazy in the right than than Ooh, sane in the wrong. Say all that day, again. All yes. Day, yes. All day. Sarah and Abraham. Sarah and Abraham. Woo. Ah. Mm hmm. I got questions. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. I I can't even like their whole scenario, right? Right. Their entire scenario because it doesn't just stop at. Oh, they got layers to their story. Oh my god! It, it's like a Smith Island cake for those that are from Maryland. That's that's the layers. <laughs> <laughs> they got some layers, honey. Um, you know. A man coming up to his wife saying, okay, so I know you're comfortable here, but God is saying we need to move. And, you know, as a wife, it's okay, where are we moving to? Okay, you know, I don't know. <laughs> We're just supposed to pack up and start walking, right? <laughs> Girl. And for her to just be like, okay. Yeah, I... I Ooh. Whole new yeah. level. Whole, whole new level. New level. Tracks. Whole. In 2021. And not just her, but even if we were to break it down, even whole, their servants, everything. everybody came along. Everything. Absolutely. Everybody, the whole everybody household. was hinged on Correct. his faith and mm -hmm. on his obedience. That's a whole word right there. Entire household. Absolutely. Right. Entire. Yep. But to then, but to then, the question is, so I got a question for you. Did he ever tell his wife that he took their only child up to the mountain to sacrifice? Yeah, I have to go back and read you that because I'm like, you know, clearly I got questions on the backside of I got questions. Honestly, their entire relationship is nothing but a large question mark because it's it's back to back to back scenarios, really, of 
out of pocket. Just, mm -hmm. okay, I guess I'm going to trust you over and over and over and over. Right. Um, sure. I don't know. I don't remember if I've read clearly if she was aware that he was going to murder their, their only son. I'm not sure if I remember that. Do you remember that? Because I that's, don't. I don't I have to go back and review that. I do not recall ever reading. Correct. Because obviously would have she would have been cool with that. Right. Yeah. Right. So because I, I don't think it would have been as smooth as the okay, correct. we're moving. Okay. Correct. Yeah, no. She done waited umpteen million years to have this hey. one. Right. To have this one baby for you to say, well, God's now telling me it's like, okay. Why does yeah. anything that starts with that already sound crazy? It's like, well, well, God is telling me. Even that, right? I mean, first of all, you're moving. Then you're going to get pregnant at the age of whatever you are, right? So then there's that. And 90, now you're going to murder the one son that I've waited this many years to have. It's just too much. We're, honestly, it's a Lifetime movie. That, that Follow those two. Mm. If, if you like things... Uh, if you watch Lifetime, that those two characters right there, oh my goodness. Yeah, because it's never ending. And thankfully, it didn't end in an episode of Snap, cause, because it could have, honestly. It okay. As a, as a wife, I mean, I think she had, I, th yeah, I think it was warranted. I mean, you moved, you had a baby, and now you're going to murder the baby. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, the biblical version of Snap could have happened, but it didn't. So. That's amazing. I, I feel like that was an Old Testament. Don't let your right hand know what your left hand doing. It's like, yeah, we just never going. You know, I feel like on the way back down the mountain, Abraham's telling Isaac, yeah, you know. Don't tell this to your mother. Let's just keep this right here. Yeah. <laughs> tell keep, them, this is between us. Telling the servant, telling the servants, we just go keep this right here. You know. Can you imagine as his son gets older and he has to tell his therapist, like, you know, <laughs> we went up on the mountain, right? And dad was ready to be a sacrifice and there was nothing else around. Uh, and he happened to just lay me on the platform. And I happened to ask him, dad, where is the sacrifice? And he was like, it's all right. Just pipe down, pipe down, um, lay, oh lay down. Right. Can you imagine Child Protective Services showing up at their tent? I can only imagine her hearing Girl. that story. Uh, yeah, it's an episode of Snap. I love it. So that's that's Abraham and Sarah. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay. I don't know if anybody has, has thought about it that in, in depth <laughs> as we have, but I got questions. What about your boy Jonah? Like, I have we, been in like, we, like we warned y'all at the beginning of the show, Honey, we will find humor. <laughs> Jonah, in listen. Everything Jonah God I, does. I was like, Jonah, I'm oh, with you. Jonah. Let's put ourselves on this boat and get up out of here. I'm with you, Jonah, to the end. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm with him. We, I mean. I, I just I just wondered if he had, had a cell phone back then, but he had gone live from inside the well. <laughs> <laughs> he just been like, oh, like this just happened, y'all. This is where I am. I'm inside the stomach. I can't Correct. even fathom the smell of the largest animal, I guess, of that time that was able to swallow this man and not crush him. Obviously, you mm. think about being in the belly of anything intestinally, it you know, the muscles contract. You would typically be right. dissolved as they are, it's digesting you, but it did not consume him. Clearly, <laughs> he came out whole as it spit him out of its mouth is what it says. But three uh, days but lake. three days and three nights later. So as again, I'm going back to the beginning, Jonah's wife, you're Jonah's wife, okay? And uh, Jonah's coming home, he's been missing for not only three days because he went to Nineveh. So we don't really know what the length of time from Jonah leaving where he was, getting on the boat, getting in the belly of whatever it was he was in, out of the belly, in Nineveh, right? To complain about that situation, <laughs> to work his way back oh to gosh. wherever he came from. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, so when he got back and he's now explaining where he's been, right? I got questions. So you say, <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. And, think, and if a woman of color just only, says okay, just know that it's not okay. No, but we're just gonna okay. say okay. Just so it's you know. Okay. 
is not okay. Yeah, um, never but, okay for the record. Okay. Never okay. Okay. You you were in the a belly of a whale, is what you said. Okay. I think I think the only thing that would have justified his story is that maybe he would have smelled like the belly of a whale because three days and three nights. He was in Nineveh for a, in Nineveh for a minute. Clearly, he should have bathed between that time and the time he arrived back to where he came from. I don't know because the Bible says he went straight there. It's just, <laughs> but it, it wasn't. It's I don't know that it was there. that. It clearly seemed like it was longer than one day that he was in Nineveh. So. Surely, even if it was no more than a total of a week, still, you left home a week ago. Still, where have you been, Jonah? I don't know. You that don't would know. Be, that would be a story for the books. Mm. That would be one for the books. Okay. Okay. Oh, like, okay. Mm -hmm. Be like, well, let me see your phone. That's your story? <laughs> okay. You going to stick to that? It's like, did you go live? Because I didn't see you go live. Did you go, did you <laughs> I didn't go see live? you check in. I didn't see right. you check in. I did not ping your location. None of that. <laughs> oh no. My oh, my gosh. I'm going to have Ooh. to come up with something else, Jonah, because that's not working for us. Mm -mm. Nope. The next one. The next one, girl. Hosea. It's trash. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Oh. oh my God, what a story, right? You got to tell somebody that God told you to marry them. Oh yeah, right? And then, looking, you, bring, looking and then crazy. You, bring, you bring that somebody home to family. Looking crazy, like, looking hey, crazy, this, feeling this is... crazy, <laughs> feeling crazy, looking crazier. <laughs> or maybe, maybe reverse. Feeling crazier and looking crazy. Either way, yes, yes, we we have lived those lives, um, and yes. yes, it's 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 a process and it's a journey. Mm. Um, oh my god, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I yeah, I, I don't, yeah. I don't, <laughs> right, I have only lived it. From the Hosea side, uh, right. thus, thus saith the Lord in the King James Version, thus saith the Lord that you you are supposed to be my spouse. Mm -hmm. It's like, mm, say what? Correct. <laughs> and then tell Correct. the family, yeah, this is who God said. This this is who this is right. This is and it God sounds crazy me. because we're like, God, are you sure? Like, I need you to give me the writing on the wall with purple cursive crayon like that has still been my thing like are you sure but god is like don't ask me another time told you okay black mama <laughs> i'm telling you don't ask like, me what another did time. i say what did i say okay okay all right well we just gonna we just gonna sit on over here and until you okay okay all right that's where we are with that oh my hosea, gosh hosea and the story of hosea by itself again the book redeeming love that tania had oh my goodness that is a that is a great fictional story but it's based off of the book of hosea and just yeah. the whole concept uh of you know because God of a man of god her, being told to go uh, marry a prostitute right there's like, some we're not lazy. just talking about just any man of god like he was a prophet correct correct <laughs> You know, like a pastor being told. Right. Right. You need you need to go down come again and get you, you know, you need to find you. I, this you need to find you one. This is who this is who this is who you need to bring home to the family. Honey. And I'm gonna give you a love for that person. I'm going to give you a love for that person. No matter, no matter <laughs> how crazy <laughs> it may look to everybody else, because right. maybe everybody else already knows your future, your your new spouse. I'm just saying, it was a right. small town back then. Small, right. small town, right. y'all. Small town. <laughs> it it's is. Crazy. It's crazy. the story, the concept of it, and so 
You know, we've gone through so many relationships. I don't say so many. It makes it seem like it's a lot. But we, we have had. <laughs> we've had our know, share. Yeah. And, and never have we allowed God to um, select the person for us. Right. And so this has been a journey of allowing God to bring uh, in our lives um, the man, the men that are for us. Um, was a process and for sure of like, are you sure? Are you, I hear you clearly. I know for you, you definitely were like, say again, one more time. Yeah. For the people in the back. <laughs> like, it's like, it's like with Hosea, he's like, wait a minute. I know, I know what type of woman I asked you for. I'm pretty okay. sure prostitute was not on the list of her characteristics. Um, or her, or her occupation, like, right. like I, I don't think that was on there, God. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Pretty, I'm pretty sure. It's amazing losing the control and allowing God to give you not only what you didn't know you wanted, but yes. to give you what you needed. Um, that has been for strong women for women who like to be independent and to have a level of control, right? Especially mm. in the relationship area with significant others um, to allow that to happen. That, yeah. that was a process. So for, you know, any folks out there, male or female, um, you know, definitely um, seek God and allow God to bring you your significant other um, versus just continuing on the cycle of you picking bad relationship over bad relationship. Um, and if it wasn't someone that God said to you, right? Because I know Tania and I um, had been married before and we'll share a little bit more of our story over the weeks and months to come. But mm -hmm. God didn't tell us in those previous marriages to marry the persons that we were with. Um, no, and so- I got the exact opposite command. Yeah. I got, God was clear to not to, and I still did it anyway. That. So there's that. There, yeah. there is that. Another I, I episode did, for another day. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. I, I, I definitely didn't get the not to, but I definitely uh, was. I don't. But that was also too because I never even sought God in that decision. Um, if I could be very honest and candid, it was That's me good. just shooting. You know what I mean? You know how we are, and in relationships, and you just go time. And it wasn't even something that I even took a pause to even say, is this the person that's supposed to be my significant other for the rest of my life, right? Mm. Um, didn't even ask. And so with that, right, it's like, you know what? You might want to try it God's way. You might, you just might, you know? Yeah. So not saying it's going to be easy peasy, but I will assure you uh, when you have God's grace on you from a decision that he's given you, and the person that he's given you, it's going to be a whole lot better than you choosing and being in disobedience, for sure. Even if it looks like Hosea's marriage. <laughs> Read the book, y'all. Read the book. It was, it was still in obedience, no matter how crazy it looked. Absolutely. It was still in full obedience. And 100%. so God gave him all the grace and long suffering. I just remember the old R and B song, "Emotional Roller Coaster." Who was that that sung that? I'm thinking about her name. I'm trying to remember, but oh my gosh, yeah. Read the well, lyrics and then know. go read the scripture. It'll, it'll all make sense. It all, <laughs> all makes sense. Ooh, so last one on the I got questions. <sighs> Mary and Joseph, specifically Scandalous, huh? Mary, mother of Jesus, for those that are wondering who we're talking about, because there's a lot of Marys in the Bible. There are. It's a very common name. Um, Mary, yeah. mother of Jesus and you know, Joseph. Some people say scandalous. Some people say entanglement. But I didn't say either. <laughs> you didn't hear me say either. So um, <laughs> what I know to be true is had that be, you know, that's 2021. Hmm. Um, yeah, we got some questions. We got a whole list of questions. Yes. A whole list of questions. I'm pregnant by the Holy Spirit. It's not you your baby. It's not your baby. It's the Holy Spirit's baby. Really? But, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Again, the okay. <laughs> Y'all look out for the okay. Uh, okay. It's like, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, and Joseph's reaction, completely understandable. 
Mm -hmm. Completely understandable of that of that whole. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think this is God. I don't think. I don't think He put us together. You know. Mm. You you and the Holy Spirit. You and the Holy Spirit go 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 do your thing. Go handle it. You know. <laughs> All I can think of is Joseph's friends, right? I just think of his oh his, his, his guy friends, right? Uh, his, uh, skip his, his guy friends. His mother. His mother finding out. It's like wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> now this been arranged for a minute. So let me get this straight. Right. Okay. Okay. She's she pregnant and it's not yours. But an angel told you it's okay. Mm. Okay. What does angel look like? What was his name? Okay. The original blended family of the New Testament. The first How blended family of the New Testament. Because Joseph ended up being a bonus dad, y'all. He was a bonus dad. <laughs> and I wonder, do people even think about that, right? When they think about blended families, do they think about how Jesus himself was a, a product of a blended family? Come on. Right. Because all those kids they had after would have been half siblings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? I it's mean, still a stretch, but it's, uh, half siblings, right? It's like, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. But to forever be known. I mean, Joseph would have lived his life out and married forever being known as. Okay. Jesus was born on what date? And your and your wedding date was what date? Like, hold on. <laughs> we got questions. Oh my goodness. Like God, God didn't change the math on that. It's like, okay. Come on. I'm saying okay. entanglement was not 2020, just so you know. I'm just nope. letting you know. That's some old testament entanglement. Scandalous. Can you imagine? What did the women say? I'm wondering. Oh my she, you know, it's not a big town. What was the talk of the town, right? That she's having a child out of wedlock while it wasn't his it wasn't his child. I'm intrigued to know how they put their mouth on her, right? And then to come to find out later that it's, you know, it's the right. man that's gonna save you's mother. But can you imagine the, the talk of the town? The scandal? I can't I can't imagine how much she would have had to have saved her from from probably being stoned to death. You know mm. what I'm saying? Because back then they weren't playing with that. Can that you was... imagine her stance? I mean, kudos to her. I don't see it anywhere. I haven't read it specifically. It's probably not written down <laughs> for us to read. But how she carried herself. Because if we were ever in her shoes um, and people came at us with such questions, line of questioning, uh, let's just say that, right? And to know right. we hadn't done anything wrong. Um, and the yet, only answer we have is the Holy Spirit. It's yeah. God. This is and, God's baby. Oh, that's all, that's all I can tell you. We're it's coming God's at baby. you with all kinds of questions. Can you imagine how she, how well she handled herself? Um, I would say, well done. Well done. I don't have that level of emotional intelligence that Mary had 2,000 years ago today. Okay, so well done. Because <laughs> you would have gotten not some Christian words from me. You probably would have gotten the real if you would have came to me and yeah. uh, tried to slander, right? Um, my character, right. right? Can you imagine? Because that's what they were doing. They were attacking her. Right. And the, and the thing that she probably always had to live out. Oh, yeah. Always had to live that out. Maybe even to the grave, wow. you know, of the, of the lots of, lots of chatter Mm -hmm. Every time she walked past or walked out of a room, right? Or in the grocery store. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess the only time she felt vindicated, right, was I guess is right when he mm -hmm. when he died. I mean, but think about that. You you, right. you settled with that for 33 years of being the talk of the town. So um that's a long yeah. time to hold your hold your peace. Yeah, I mm, yeah. could you imagine? No, you wouldn't you <laughs> no. No, no. How would you have handled it? Oh, I mean, ah, I don't know. My flesh immediately wants to say I probably would cut somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because not only are you not going to talk about me, but you're not going to talk about my baby. Like you got. Come on. You're not going to talk about me. You're not going to talk about my man. And you're not going to talk about my kids. Like that's that's, that's what you're not going to do. 
And it's all so, three were the talk of the town, I guarantee you, for years, for decades. For years. Right. Because yeah. okay. he probably wouldn't even have looked like his daddy. I mean, who did he look like? And I don't even want to say, right? He didn't have his <laughs> nose. You know how they say, oh, he has his nose. No, no, he doesn't. No. He doesn't look like no, because he doesn't. Yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> no. It's like, ooh, ooh. Okay, I, I don't. Yeah, no, I do not have the. Uh, I can honestly say I do not have the spiritual maturity. It's not there yet. <laughs> no, it's not there yet. No. Mm. Kudos no. to Mary. Shout out to Mary on how For she real. handled her situation, um, because I, I know that neither one of us would have handled it with such grace that she did mm -hmm. and maybe she didn't and maybe it just didn't get documented that's okay too but i wish well it done. would have been documented i wish it would have been documented that's you know true. True. just for just for every person out there that's ever struggled with mm. people having your business in their mouth mm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah i would have loved to know okay so how how did you how did yeah. you walk that out what <laughs> What did that look like? You know? Yeah. Yeah. And God didn't tell them. That's the thing, right? And it's nothing worse than trying to convince another human being of what God has said to you. There's that. That that is, But that's a waste of breath. Because mm. if I got to convince you, then no, mm. that's not my, and it's not even my job to convince you. That's on God. And maybe, maybe that's why there's nothing written because she was just like, you know what, God, it's on you. Right. Right. It's on you. But that you're right. That's a lot for what about a 14 or 15 year old young girl mm -hmm. to, to have spent her life. <laughs> right. Being the talk of the town. Teenage years. Right. Right. So. The I Got Questions segment. We're going to enjoy that. Uh, there's going to be, today was Bible characters. Next next week, it, we don't know who it's going to be. It can be any and every. It's not always going to be biblically based, but we thought that would be just a little fun opener uh, so that, you know, you can think about when you're reading the Bible, how would these things look this day and age? How would you put yourself in their shoes, right? How would you handle it? Would mm -hmm. you have handled it as well as they did? Um, did, would you have questions? What questions would you have? All those things. And at the same time, how are you handling what God is giving you right now? How about it? In 2021. Because somebody is always reading your story. Mm -hmm. Somebody is always watching. Somebody's always listening. Somebody's always looking at what you're posting. Mm -hmm. So it's how you, it's how you handle all that God gives you, right? That's that's what we present to the world, for better or for worse. That's what we that's hand it. over. So we'd love to hear your suggestions <laughs> on I got questions. If you got if you got a question, you got a question for us, please post it in the comments. You know, send us a message. You know, send us a DM. Let us know. Um, and if and if it's if it's worthy, we'll be happy. <laughs> we'll be happy. Right. Happy this is our first episode. So we know that as uh, our followership grows, you know, our following ship is in more and more people are more interactive. You know, feel free to post those questions um, as we go along or if you have comments on some of the segments that we cover. We yeah. want to have engagement with you. So definitely um, let us know, you know, if there's something specifically you want us to discuss and talk about. We'd love to have that dialogue, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Before, before, during, and after the show. So, yes. yeah. Yeah, we love to chat. So, anybody out there have any questions, comments for us? We're going to open it up um, right now for a few minutes. Um, you can literally post a comment um, to the Facebook post. Uh, the live post. So if you post a comment, we'll see it in real time. Um, and we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think about this first episode. Um, <laughs> and if you're like, watching it on the replay, 
Go ahead and put your comments. We'd love oh, yeah. to be able, we're going to be following and tracking along with you. So if you're watching this later, no worries. Put your comments and your feedback. Tell us how you feel, what you uh, what you like, what you want more of, right? And um, as we grow with the show and our audience, we'll be progressing and answering more questions and making some changes. So give us mm -hmm. your feedback. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is good. We're safe. We have no questions so far. So we'll get the questions in the replay. That's either really good or really bad. I'm not we'll get the sure questions how to take in the it, yeah. uh, This is good. This is good. You're only getting to see a snippet of how we are fools and, and when we're together. So <laughs> this is the, the very much Facebook Live filtered version of us. And it, it needs to be. So. Yes. And be thankful, you guys, that we're not in the same room. Because yeah, if we oh, were yeah. in the same room, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Facebook would probably shut us down. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. So, oh my goodness. So we're gonna do um, just some ideas and some concepts here on the outro, Tania, giving them the information. Any, um, if you all have any episode suggestions, we'd love, love, love that. Not only with your feedback from this one, but again, what you want us to chat about. Um, we want to talk about things that are relevant and real, what is trending right now, um, yeah. things that are concerns and matters that are going on um, in the world. You know, let's discuss and um, bring them to the platform so we can have good dialogue about it. Mm -hmm. And um, just to put it out there, you know, we're not a political show. No. So every answer we give, if you if you post a question, you know, that is political. We're not going to stop you from doing that, but we may or may not answer. And if we do answer, just know it's going to be biblically based. Like we're going we to always talk about it and see it through God's eyes, right? When, very very um, much. Very yeah, much. yeah. And it actually may have a fair bit of sarcasm along with it as well. <laughs> Hopefully so, a whole lot. There's that. <laughs> <laughs> probably a whole lot of sarcasm absolutely but you'll um, get your answer for sure yeah yeah so um like we said at the beginning you know follow along with us follow us on facebook um we're not on the ig yet um but of course the moment we get over there on instagram we'll let everybody know um and just this has just really been a beautiful journey it's been an amazing season thus far. It's hard to believe that we're only still in the first 90 days of the year. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> mm -hmm. And all that we've been doing and working on um, and all that God has put on our plate just in these first 90 days. Right. So um, we'd love to take you along with us on the journey. That was the whole point of doing this show is to take you along on the beautiful journey um, so like Wynn said, yeah, we'll be talking about faith, you know, fun, fashion, almost all the F's. If you read, if you read our, if you read our description on the, uh, on the Facebook page, it's almost every F, um, almost every F letter word, almost. <laughs> There's a couple we left out. Um, but Definitely, please, um, you know, share the page, invite friends that, you know, could use a laugh at the end of their workday, you know, that could use a beautiful, candid discussion <laughs> on what serving God looks like from day to day, you know, because um, all of us are here to be a blessing and a support to one another. So Absolutely. we need we need the support too. Um, hence why God put the two of us together. I'm pointing in the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. I know everything's right. opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go like that. Right. Absolutely. So join us. We're going to be on um, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 4 right. p.m. If you're working your way across the country, right? <laughs> By the time you get over to Pacific, you know where you are, right? So just uh, 6 Eastern and 5 Central. Um, every Tuesday we're looking to be on unless there is an emergency or something that's happened. And we'll post that on the page if we happen to miss a show. 
But um, we're looking forward to being able to have great content, a lot of fun, engagement with our viewers um, every Tuesday at, at that time. So join us. Yeah, we'll be here unless there's another Texas ice storm with no electricity. Um, <laughs> yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. I said oh, it. That was oh. so interesting. I'm in oh. Maryland and we have weather that is significantly warmer uh, and you were in Texas with ice. So my thoughts and prayers. But you have warm weather and we're we're catching up to you eventually. Oh, yeah. yeah, our winter's um, over. Winter's over. We we are, yeah, we were 70, 75, 77 degrees strong today. So yes, yes. Yeah, that was a back. serious we're week. back to normal. You we're went from negative nine to sixties or seventies by the weekend. I mean, it Isn't was insane. That crazy. Isn't that a crazy, like, literal movie? That's a day after tomorrow, right? Right. <laughs> That's what that was. Like, okay, we're just going to flip it. Um, we need heat? No, we need AC is what we need. Right. In seven days. Yeah. Wow. So <laughs> this has been great, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and if you're watching the recap, thanks for clicking on us. Share away. Um, let us know your thoughts. Fill in the comments. Um, and we promise to actually respond. We will be in touch. So, yeah. So, and yeah. we're going to put in the comments um, the links to the study so you can join us tomorrow. Um, again, that is 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. Okay? On Wednesdays. On Wednesdays. Yep. Uh, the, the Redeeming Love study. So that information is going to go. Um, we're going to post that below this video um, and we're going to put the information um, how to connect with us um, in there as well. So um, please be in touch. We'd love to hear from you. All right. Listen, y'all. Listen. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. It's been real. Take care. Bye. Much love. <laughs>